Hey everybody, it's Jugger, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mystical Ninja, starring Going On. And actually starring Ubisumaru right now, because I'm giving him a little bit more screen time before I ch change to a completely new character who we are about to meet. Because, let's face it, at the beginning of this game, Ibisumaru doesn't do a whole lot. He'll get a lot more screen time later. Zazen Town. So it was you guys! You're yay! What on earth are you doing here? I was following that peach-shaped UFO! Just as I suspected. The UFO has something to do with what's happening, doesn't it? Yes, definitely! In order to defend the Peace of Japan, secret ninja agent Ye has begun to investigate the strange occurrences happening throughout Japan. They are thought to be caused by the mysterious Flake Gang. Did you find anything out about the Flake Gang? Well, all I found out was that there are several members who call themselves the Peach Mountain Shoguns. Peach Mountain? Huh. I don't care if we're talking Peach Mountain, or Chestnut Mountain, or even Pear Mountain. They'd better be ready, because I'm going to kick their butts. It looks like our objectives are the same. Wow, and we can go together on our adventures. Yes, I guess you're right. Enthusiasm mediocre. Now I switch over to Ye to give her some screen time, because honestly, if I was just going with who had the best stuff it would be going on for the first, like, half of the game. Well, first of all, let's check out what's happening in this town. I wonder where Yoshi went. He's always been determined to become a great dancer. One by one, kids are dancing with dancing talents have been kidnapped in the Shikoku region. I better save them with my secret powers! On second thought now, my back's been bothering me. Yes, so the children have been disappearing in this town. So we'd best hurry. Straight ahead, Gojo Ohashi Bridge. Well, let's see what's over here. Hey, stop right there. If you want to get by here, Hand over the treasure you have. Well, come on. What's it gonna be? Uh... I'll take a different route. Ha ha ha. You coward. Well, looks like I'm not going that way right yet. Uh... Let's see. Here we have the basic things that all the other towns have. Shops, a place to rest at the inn. Here, hey. if I hit this, then a silver fortune doll comes down. And now I leave here sure that we will never return. Well, now I have to try and figure out a way to get around Benkai, I, be I believe his name was. Benkai. I'm going to call him Benkai, even if that isn't his name. If you haven't noticed, I have a very short attention span. Or rather, memory. There are all kinds of things to eat in this part of Japan. It's not a bad idea to visit different areas just to feast on the great foods. Let's see what's out here. There's a door that leads to Bizan. Bizan, through the... located through the Chugoku region, west of here. Apparently, some kid was fooling around and did something to the door so it wouldn't open. It's a real problem. As you can see, yes, this door will not open. Well, yet. What do you have to say? 
just one person in this town who has crossed the Gojo Ohashi Bridge without handing anything to Benkai. His face is pretty good looking when it comes to his personality. Oh, okay. So there is actually someone who knows how to deal with Benkai. Well, I think we're going to have to meet this person. Hey you, traveler. You are led to this gold temple. Why not listen to my sermon while you're here? I'll also include a song and autograph session. Well, as much as I love gold, I don't want to hear you sing. Let's see. What is over here? Mount Nyoigataki. Eh, there's probably nothing up there. Duck Creek. Always a great name. Duck. That's right, the dogs can talk in this town. These are the upper reaches of Duck Creek, Wolf. If you go down the creek, you'll reach midstream, and then a little farther is downstream, Wolf. Which would mean that since I'm here, I must be up the creek without a paddle. Wolf. That's right. Bad puns. They're not just for humans anymore. Well, let's follow his example and head on down the creek then. What's up here? Oh, look! It's a person with a pretty face. What? What do you want? Do you know Benkai? Of course I do. He's like a follower to me. Wait a sec. I bet you're trying to get across the Gojo Ohashi Bridge, and that that Benkai is blocking. Am I right? Uh, well, yes. Uh, no, not at all. Well, yes. Well, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Just do me a favor and I'll tell you how to deal with Benkai. Well, what do you say? Will you do me a favor? Sure. Then it's decided. Okay, catch me some fish from Duck Creek. First, catch three bluefish. And suddenly, the creek is full of fish. So, right now, you're going to have to do three things for her, because I'm fairly sure that it's a woman. Catch three bluefish, followed by five yellow fish, and after that, eight, I believe, redfish. Come on, talk to me. You did it! Okay, next get me five yellow fish. And unfortunately, uh, this we're in the middle of the creek, so it's not- Aw, oh, come here. They're sometimes hard to catch. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of the creek, which makes it a bit annoying to get- Uh-oh, that's not a yellow fish. Which makes it a bit annoying to get some of the fish, because you're going to have to uh, redouble back on yourself. Got a yellowfish. Got another yellowfish. Is there one up? Yep, there's one. It's not so bad with, uh, well, it's not actually bad at all with the yellowfish or the bluefish, because that doesn't actually happen. But there is a redfish up here, and I think that you have to catch, if not all of the redfish, then just about all of the redfish. So you definitely will have to turn around and retrace your steps. So, with that, part two of the quest, I suppose, is now completed. Pretty good. Okay, this is the last. Get me eight redfish. So, oh, 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 th there we go. I'm still having a little bit of trouble getting used to the uh, Nintendo 64 controller again. Because, honestly, until I played this again, it had been quite a while since I had last played anything on my Nintendo 64. To the point where it wouldn't start at first, and I was a little worried that uh, it had just completely stopped working. But luckily, as with all the old systems, if you blow in the cartridge and in the cartridge slot enough, Eventually, it'll work. There's just about nothing that blowing in the cartridge slot won't fix. 
man. Is that another red fish that I missed? Huh. That was weird. Well, like I was saying before, this is the part that you get to where you have to actually just go around. As you can see, can't get up there yet. We're actually going to do something with that significantly later in the game. And that is also the reason why I didn't go up to Mount... Well, I can't remember what it was called. When I... How did I miss you? Ooh, ooh. Ah, come here. Ah, there we go. He must have respawned or something. That's why I didn't go up to the mountain when I was there, because you can't actually do anything with that, either. Oh, right! You did it! With all this fish, I won't go hungry for some time. Well, as I promised... It's... It's... A... Log. Throw this at Benkai. I'm sure he'll move to the aside. I received an Achilles heel. I think you're getting that, uh... Metaphor. Well, not a metaphor. I think you're getting that idea mixed up. The Achilles heel wasn't the thing that hit Achilles. Oh, what do you know? Benkai, hey, yo, over there, if you want to cross this bridge, ugh, I can see in your eyes, you want to fight. Very well, however, if you lose, I will blast you far, far away. Well, well, it's a fight with Benkai. Look for the instant Benkai reaches the ground when jumping and throw the Achilles heel at him three times within the time limit. The item can be thrown by pressing the B button. Then, we shall begin. If you throw it too soon, we'll just hit it. But... As you can see... Oh! I thought that he... Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. If you throw it too soon, he'll just hit it. But, uh... You actually have a fair amount of... Hey, stop doing that. You actually have a fair amount of leeway with this. Oh, come on! This is actually the easiest thing in the game. I, do ha I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble with this right now. Oh, come on! No, no, ba no bad. Come on, come on. Oh my god, I can't believe I just failed that. I honestly can't. I completed it in about three seconds last time I played through this. That is actually incredibly embarrassing. I will not lose this time. Well, as has been pretty much uh, established before, let's play Curse. Any time that you're doing anything incredibly easy during a Let's Play, you will undoubtedly fail it. Ever since the Achilles heel was thrown at Benkai, Achilles heel was meant to be the weak point of someone. Not the best translators of this game, but I think that it gives it character. There's something fishy about that story. Ah, to be defeated in the same manner as I was by... Ushiwaka. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone that I lost. Please. I'll let you pass the bridge at will, and I'll give you something from my collection. And it's something important. Which is? Wow, wow, it's our friend Sasuke. What Benkai pulled out was... All stiff, with batteries almost falling out. Again, I really hope that that's not code for something. It was none other than the mechanical ninja, Sasuke. Where did you get this? I'm oh, sorry, where did you get this? It came falling from the sky just the other day. I wonder if it has anything to do with the explosion at the wise man's house. Well, in any case... Don't tell a single soul that I lost. 
Goemon and his allies received the Mechanical Ninja Sasuke. And now we can proceed. Yamato. But I think that that'll just about do it for this episode of Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring EA. And I still haven't quite gotten the hang of looking at the camera. Oh, oh, there we go. So, uh, I'll end it off here. Once again, I'm Jugger, and I will see you guys next time.